Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this flip flop circuit that I built. What is a flip flop? Well, flip flops are uh, logic elements, they are used in sequential logic circuits, and it has two stable states. And of course, the two states depend on the input of the device. These are used as memory elements. Of course, in modern digital circuits, these are built on a, on a chip, but you can always build it in the old way using relays. This is built using four simple relays, single pole double throw relays, four of them. So, why I did this? Well, I found this document on the web which explains how to build a 4-bit counter, binary counter, using relays. I think it is very interesting. So I decided to build the counter, but the basic unit of the counter is a flip-flop, which is this circuit here. So let me show you how it works and then we will explain the circuit. So we have an input which is this momentary switch and the output is represented by this LED lamp. Let me turn on the power supply and let's see. It looks deceptively simple. One push and the LED turns on, another push and the LED turns off. But you need to see that this is not a normal switch. It is not an on off switch, but a momentary switch. So I push the switch and I send a signal. The LED turns on, but the signal disappears when I release the switch, but the LED is still on. Another push, signal, LED goes off, signal disappears, LED is still off. So we can use this as a memory element because I send a signal, we have here the LED on, the signal disappears, but the device remembers that we sent a signal. We have stored the information and now with another push, the memory is now erased. This is the reason a flip-flop can be used as a memory device. Signal in, memory is stored, another signal, memory is erased. Let me explain with this diagram. This is the input. We have signal, switch pushed, and no signal, switch released and this is the output LED on or LED off so let's start I send a signal push the switch we are here at this point we have signal LED is on switch is on I release the switch the signal disappears here but the LED is still on. Then I will send a signal again, push the switch, and the LED goes off. Release the switch, LED still off. And then we are at the beginning of, of the next cycle. Signal, LED on, signal disappears, LED still on and we can continue indefinitely. So, we have a square wave train, both for the input and for the output. So, as I said before, the flip-flop works as a memory device because we have a signal, memory is stored, another signal, memory is erased. But you need to notice that we have two train pulses 
and here we have a serotonin frequency, but at the output, the frequency is half the input frequency. So the flip-flop is also working as a frequency divider. It divides by two the input frequency. And this can be used to build a counter as in the circuit that I showed you before. And this is the use that I will make of the flip-flop. This is the basic circuit. It has two relays, relay A and relay B. This is the coil of relay A and the coil of B. These contacts correspond to relay B and this and this to relay A. And we also have a momentary switch or push button here. Now, what happens when we push the push button? Current flows from the battery through this path through the contacts of relay A that are normally closed, through the push button, and then to the coil of relay B. So relay B is energized and the contacts of B are closed. When you release the push button, the current now flows through both coils that are now in series, so both relays are activated. This contact moves to this position because corresponds to relay A and this contact that is also from relay A moves to this position. And this is the first stable state of the flip-flop. The flip-flop will stay in this state indefinitely. Now, if you press the push button again, this is what happens. The current flows through the coil of relay A and through this path by passing the coil of relay B, which is de-energized. So now only coil A is energized. If you now release, release the push button, relay A also de-energizes and you fall into the initial configuration when both coils are de-energized and this is the second stable state of the flip-flop. This is the full circuit of the counter. I will not explain in detail because that will be for a uh, forthcoming video where I built the full counter. But this uses four flip-flops. One flip-flop per bit because this is a four-bit counter. But I only built one of the flip-flops, the first stage, which is this part of the diagram. And here the author uses two relays, which are three pole double throw, but these relays are kind of expensive and not so easy to obtain. So I use these very cheap single pole double throw relays, but you need four of them instead of two of the original circuit. So I will show you the diagram of this modified version that I built using simple relays, in case you want to build one. Here is the circuit of the flip-flop that I modified for use uh, for SPDT relays. I am using five volt relays, so you need an input voltage of eight to 10 volts that is because in a certain moment, both coils are in series, so you need more than five volts. And uh, here is the LED. Of course, you need a resistor that I forgot. And this is ground or negative of your battery and the push button. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you liked the video and See you in the next one where I will show you the full 4-bit binary counter.